Researchers actually see huge value in using data to change the world for the better, with marketers today constantly looking for innovative new ways to use data and add value to services in areas ranging from health tech to fintech. One of my recent research papers, forthcoming in nature, also leverages mobile data to track the spread of COVID-19 in China using population flow data. We work with telecom carriers in China to devise a useful toolkit for public health experts and policymakers in order to support their measures to contain and control the virus. So the value of data does not lie upon the raw data itself, but rather what you make out of it. In this way, not only can data be applied for good, but it can also be harnessed to unlock its full potential for the larger betterment of society. I'm Jason Jaw, Associate Professor of Marketing at HKU Business School. Researchers have been studying social networks within the field of sociology for over 50 years. What shifted the game was the popularity of platforms such as Facebook and its predecessors like Friendster. People are moving their daily activities online, generating a massive amount of valuable data and providing opportunities for researchers to further understand the complex issues of consumer behavior. My recent research examines the connection between users and its dynamics displayed on social network sites. It gives online marketers fresh insights into different ways of maintaining an active and viable community. For example, through less noisy communication channels, such as online, we find that influencers are those who aggregate information from multiple sources. On the other hand, for more noisy channels, such as offline, we find that influencers tend to be experts with domain knowledge. I am Tan Fan, Associate Professor of Marketing at HKU Business School. The digital world has inevitably brought new concerns about privacy and security in an age where people feel like firms are monitoring them and permanently storing their records as they leave their digital footprints. For example, social media platforms have been weaponized to serve political benefits during the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Personal data of over 50 million Facebook users were used to create a tool of psychological welfare to manipulate American voters with targeted Facebook ads and campaigns. One way we could address the consumer privacy concern is to introduce formal legal protection around how data is collected, managed, shared, and sold. With strengthened data protection regulations in place, we believe the potential benefits of data sharing for society will far outweigh the risks. As researchers, we advocate using data for good and in meaningful ways. I am Evie Dam, Assistant Professor of Marketing at HKU Business School.